Having reached a technological and cultural zenith, officials from the Loken Mechanists have confirmed the space nation will wait around a few more years to see if anything interesting happens before abruptly vanishing from galactic affairs. The Loken have long dominated their local cluster, outpacing neighboring space nations in science output and military prowess for several decades. However, sources close to the government suggest the Loken were not expecting their rise to power to be so straightforward, and local media reports the species is now itching for a challenge. For more, we now join our field reporter, Larb, who's on the Loken homeworld of Lokur. Thanks, Kashnak. Well, as you've said, government officials here are struggling to figure out what's left to do after building multiple megastructures, terraforming all their worlds into Gaia paradises, and rolling out free dental insurance to all citizens with mandibles. The sentiment from many in power is that the space nation enjoyed the thrill of early space exploration, but assumed by now they would have faced some sort of exciting existential crisis. Do the Loken have any concrete plans for what happens next? Well, envoys have begun in earnest to agitate local marauders and fallen empires in the hopes of triggering a local conflict which spirals into an epic pan-galactic war engulfing trillions. If that fails, researchers on an old Voltom dig site report that they have made a breakthrough regarding something which the ancient texts describe as a console command, which could potentially allow multiple nightmarish crises to spawn at once, causing cataclysmic horror on a scale the galaxy has never witnessed before. Sounds thrilling. Here's hoping they're successful in their endeavor. Larb, thank you. Up next, we'll bring you live updates on the record-breaking queue to access Hyperion's sole corporate branch office, the wait for which has just today topped 8.4 years.